Good day learners and welcome to today's video where we are going to be looking at how to calculate somebody's age in days and years when we are given a particular date. Okay, so they say to us that this is when the person was born and we want to work out today and I'm going to use equals today. Today is the 28th of August 2024. So from the time they were born up until today's date, how old are they? Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say equals today, because that's going to give us today's date. And we're going to subtract that from the date the person was born. on. We're going to go enter and it gives us this type of format. So what we want to do is we want to change that format to number. And that says it's 16,253 days. Okay, so we're going to work backwards, but it's fine. So we've got the number of days. Let's do the same thing over here for this one. Equals today. I'm going to subtract that from the date that I've got over there. Now, this one has an issue. Because there are not 31 days in April. Okay, there we go again. It gives us a date. We're going to change this to number. And there we go. Now, how can we verify this? Well, if we take this answer, we say, okay, I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to divide that by 365. Why 365? Because there's 365 days in a year. Now, please, I'm not going to get into the 0.25 for the leap year. We're just going to work on 365 for now. There I have a number. I'm going to round that off. And the person should be around 45 years old. Let's do the same over here. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to divide that by 365. And I'm going to end up with 57 years old. Now let's let's go and let's go and say by 365.25. I still end up with 44. 365,25 still end up with 57. Okay, so let's go and check in the calculator. We should have a rough estimate of what this will be. But if I take 44 and I multiply that by 365, I should end up with around 16,000. And if I go with 57 times 365, well, 365, I should end up with around 20,000. Do I have around 20,000? Yes, around 16,000? Yes, I do. Obviously, this is taking into consideration all the days in between those months. So there you can see, in order to get the days, this is what I have done there. And then I've taken that answer. Now, if I had to combine them, and they just gave me one area in which to do that, I'm going to do my building block. So I'm going to go equals today. And I'm first going to make sure that I get an answer. And I'm first going to convert that to number so that I'm happy with that. Okay. Now, I'm going to go into my formula bar over here. And I'm just going to add my brackets. And then I'm going to say whatever that answer is, I want it to divide by 365.25. And there we go, I get 44. So there I can have it as individual formulas or if they want me to work it out like that. There's the entire formula for working out the person's age from a particular date, the date they were born, up until the current date. 